Are you looking for inspiration on a daily basis? Well, check out Deal to Heal Teas. With our inspirational teas, you're sure to find something that will inspire you. Just go to Deal to Heal Teas dot myshopify.com that's deal to heal teas get some inspiration in your situation wear inspirational tea and be inspired all day that's deal to heal teas at deal to heal teas dot myshopify.com hey guys this is Ernest James, host of the Deal to Heal with E. James podcast. And I got a question to ask you. Could you buy me a cheeseburger? Better yet, could you buy me a value meal? Yes? Well, guess what? I don't need a value meal. However, for the cost of a value meal, you can support this podcast to keep us on the air. Just go to Patreon slash Deal to Heal podcast and choose any one of the three tiers that's available. And if you just want to make a one-time donation, go to Cash App. And make a donation to dollar sign E James, the number 418. Make a one time donation to the Cash App, or again, go to Patreon to support this podcast and keep us on the air. Thanks in advance. Be blessed. Welcome to Heal to Heal with E. James Podcast. On this podcast, my guest and I will discuss topics and ways to help us to heal in every area of our lives. I believe that everyone can live a life that is happy, healthy, and whole. So I'm on a mission to help people to deal, heal, and fulfill. Deal with your problem, heal from the pain, and fulfill your purpose. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Deal to Heal with E. James podcast. I'm your host, Ernest James, and I believe that everyone can and should live a life that is whole, healed, and healthy. And therefore, I'm on a mission to help people to deal, to heal, and to fulfill, to deal with your problems, to heal from the pain, and to fulfill your purpose. Thank you guys for tuning in once again to the Deal to Heal with E. James podcast. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to the podcast uh, on our YouTube channel, on our Facebook page, and on our uh, on Spotify, right? Um, and definitely, if you guys, I'm going to tell you guys how you can win $100 from the podcast, uh, but that information is later. You got to make it listen to the end of the podcast to find out how you can win $100. So this is usually where I would say today, just like any other day, we are blessed with a guest. But it's going to be a little different because we're not just best blessed with a guest. We're blessed with a guest host. Miss Kalita Javon, how are you today? I am wonderful. I'm wonderful. Thank you for having me. And yes, welcome, 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 everyone to Deal to Heal with E. James. And I have the pleasure of interviewing E. James. So <laughs> thank you. So it has been a year, a year of podcasting. This is what a little birdie told me. So how do you feel about a year, 52 episodes of podcasting? Well, uh, first of all, let me say, before I, before I say that, let me say thank you uh, for being on. Uh, thank you for taking out the time because I know you could have been doing anything else, but you're here with me and my listeners, and definitely appreciate it. And just for those who don't know, uh, Kalita is the founder of an organization called the Forgiveness Mission, uh, which I have had the part the um, blessing to be able to partner with. And we do forgiveness, virtual forgiveness workshops uh, every quarter of the year. Uh, starting this year, we, we started doing every quarter. And um, yeah, so that's that's what we do. Uh, you can find more information on that at www.forgivenessmission.com, right? So I'm not going to give you all the information for that. You can look it up, but uh, I'm going to hold back a little bit on that. So when she is on as a guest, then we'll be able to go more into that. Uh, <laughs> into that whole conversation. But again, let me say thank you 
uh, for being on. And yes, yes, today uh, we are celebrating episode 52, um, 52 episodes uh, of the Deal to Heal with E. James podcast. Let me let me also say 52 consistent episodes that we'll put out an episode every week for 52 weeks, which is equivalent to one year, uh, one year of podcasting. And um, the truth of the matter is in podcasting, uh, rarely new podcasts, uh, there is a statistic, new podcasts generally don't make it past episode six. Uh, so not only did we make it past episode six, but we made it to episode 52, yeah. 52 consistent episodes. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, very grateful. I'm, I'm very happy. It's been a, it's been a road, you know, and it's been a, a learning curve to make it to this far, but I'm, I'm very excited that I was able to make it this far and, uh, still going, still mm -hmm. going. This is just the beginning. We still got a lot of stuff to do and, and a lot of more. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Um, I'm, I'm happy. Let me just leave it at that. Okay. Awesome. I'm excited about that too. So congratulations. Congratulations on that accomplishment. That is amazing. Amazing. Especially to hear that statistic, like you said, don't make it past six episodes. Don't make it That's past crazy. So, wow. And you've made it to 52. So definitely as a pat on the back, congratulations. That is a huge accomplishment. And so, mm -hmm. uh, awesome. So what made you get into podcasting? Um, so it, it's two things, right? So I, I kind of got in by default somewhat, right? So uh, one of my original platforms when I came to Instagram was uh, Friends of Fatherless Daughters. Uh, so those who don't know, I am a fatherless daughter advocate. And so I started that page advocating on behalf of fatherless daughters uh, from a father's point of view, right? And when I started that, I was asked to be on a podcast. I had never been on a podcast. Had never, I, I knew what a podcast was somewhat, but didn't really know. Uh, but I was asked to be on a podcast and I accepted. And after that first episode or that first uh, request, I got like six other requests after that. And so I did six other episodes um, on different other podcasts. And uh, on one of those podcasts, uh, afterwards, I had a conversation with uh, the host, and he suggested that maybe I should have my own podcast. So I'm so okay, I take that in consideration. So that was one part. The other part is, uh, as a speaker, as a public speaker, uh, motivational speaker, however you want to say it, you're always looking for the opportunity to share your message. And as a speaker, you're generally asked or you're always looking for the invitation to speak on someone's stage. Um, so podcasting was a way of not only me being able to get my message out, you know, as far as the fatherless daughters and, you know, more of the message, but it also gave me an opportunity to speak when I wanted to speak. Right. So instead of waiting for someone to give me the opportunity to stand on their stage. I just built my own stage, right? And then I now I, I have other people able to come on my stage and share their message. So that's kind of how I got into it. It was uh, twofold. So one, I think it was just time, you know, timing and the message was strong enough that it needed to be said. And then also taking into consideration, it gave me the opportunity to share my own story and share my own, uh, you know, speak at my own leisure, you know, when I wanted to. So it kind of gave, it was the answer to two things in one. <laughs> so that's how I got into it. I love it. I love it. it seemed like someone, um, they sowed a seed and then watered it, you know, those other six episodes that you were invited to kind of help water that, that seed and, and then it blooms. And blossomed and now 52 episodes <laughs> later okay so what is your vision for your podcast you know so right now uh we've been doing um uh virtual you know podcasts been virtual 
Um, so my vision is to get to the place where we're doing in-person um, interviews, you know, um, and, and in-person events as a, as a whole. So my, my vision is to be able to do a uh, live interview, but then also have those live interviews be a whole event. So be a live interview with speakers, you know, and enough that that sort to be able to not only have the podcast, but then have a platform where speakers, uh, which most of the people that I have on is either coaches or speakers, but also giving them having that platform where they can speak, you know, and give them that opportunity that, you know, the same opportunity that I'm looking for to be able to build a platform where I can then give that opportunity to others. Um, that's the beginning. And then, you know, even to take it a little bit further on the podcasting side, I definitely want to build a podcasting studio and offer my services, you know, for those who's coming in who want to start a podcast and, you know, kind of get them going in the direction they need to where they can record and things like that. So that's, that's my vision for it. Okay. Awesome. I love it. Okay. So I, I'm sure, you know, over the time of um, podcasting and, and, you know, 52 weeks, not to mention, I know I keep mentioning that, right. But, right, right. you know, sometimes you need a vision of like, what are you heading towards and things of that nature. So what has been like your greatest influence? Like, is there been a person or whoever has been an influence over your, over this journey? Well, so my my greatest influence, I have to give a shout out to uh, my man, David Chance, who is my podcast mentor. Um, so David, uh, I came across David uh, watching uh, ET videos. And whoever don't know who ET is, the hip hop preacher, Eric Thomas, um, I don't know where you've been, but <laughs> you need to find out who that is. Uh, but in one of the, in one of the videos, um, he was being interviewed by a gentleman named uh, David Chance. And so that kind of put me on to David and I started watching David. Well, David is the king of podcasting, right? So uh, David, I really learned everything that I know uh, from David uh, through his uh, Launch Your Podcast Challenge, uh, the podcast Blueprint, which was, was the book, uh, no, the Block Podcast Playbook, which is his e uh, ebook, and also the podcast blueprint, which is his online course, which is all dealing with podcasting and learning to, you know, how to podcast and the ins and outs of it. And so I definitely jumped head in of a hundred percent following him, following his lead and his mentorship. And now I'm at 52 weeks. And so he has been definitely my biggest influence and just watching him be able to not only build one, uh, podcast, uh, that's successful, but I believe now he has like three, you know? And so uh, just following his his footprint. So, you know, when somebody lays the groundwork, you know, and we're just able to walk into it and, and follow that lead. So definitely I would say David has been my biggest uh, influence since I've been in, in podcasting, but not just David. Now, so I, I would give definitely give uh, credit to David because that's where I started. But when David started, when David had his uh, Lunch or Podcast Challenge, in that challenge, I met other people who were starting uh, podcasting at the same time. Some was a little further, but most of us was just starting. And so when that challenge was over, I started a, a message thread group with about 80 of the people that was there, uh, that was a part of that challenge. And since then, the 80 people, uh, of us has been meet. We meet every day. We talk every day and we encourage each other. We give, you know, uh, tips and things to each other. So outside of David kicking it off, definitely with that, uh, that group that I've been able to stay a part of and nurture. And we've had, you know, lots of new people coming in like every so often. So the group is getting bigger, but we just support each other and, and uplift each other and share our knowledge that we're learning along the way with each other. And so, yeah, I, I just made 52 weeks, um, but there's also some other people in in that group that is also around the same time hitting those 52 weeks. So, uh, yeah, so I would say 
that whole with that group and with David, we're we're here. They're, they've been my biggest influences. Wow, that is amazing. And I mean, what it sounds like, it sounds like a best practice to me. You know that just community. I am definitely a believer that um, with anything, community. You know, I'm, I'm a <laughs> you know team to my heart. You know, I'm always about who are you surrounding yourself with and those around you. And and um, so yes, having someone that you can um, that's inspired you like David Chance, and um, you kind of see where he's gone and um, having three podcasts now, successful podcasts, um, and now also having a community of others surrounding you. It's like a, a mastermind in a way. And so I would definitely say that that is a best practice. Um, you know, and and with that, I, you just dropped a couple of nuggets. I hope anybody that's just starting a podcast or interested in doing so actually learned a little bit from what he just mentioned a second ago. Um, that was a gem of, um, of how to surround yourself with others. And so what would you say is a key to having a successful podcast, like in your words? Um. The, the first thing I would say was find find what it is that you're passionate about that you will talk about anyway, right? Some of us on a on a day to day basis, you know, those of us who are sports fans talk about sports every day, right? So that's something that you're passionate about that you're gonna have a conversation about anyway, right? So maybe that may be the the premise of what your podcast is about. So you definitely have to have, you know. Uh, a goal or, or, or an angle, should I say, like, this is where I'm going, you know, with my podcast. And then after that, um, along with some other things, but the most important thing is being consistent, you know, being consistent. Like I said, 52 weeks is, is, is uh, 52 episodes and 52 weeks. Um, it's, it's not a small feat because it, it takes some dedication and it takes some consistent working at it um, to keep it going. And so the first couple, I said the first couple 10, once you start and you start putting out them first couple episodes, then people start recognizing that you're there, right? And so whatever day that you're putting it out, our, our episodes come out every Wednesday. On those Wednesdays, then people are looking for you. Your listeners are looking for you to show up. And so when you don't show up, then you start losing people because they're like, oh, he's not consistent. You know, I can't depend on him to be there you know, when he said he's going to be there. So when you start being consistent and you showing up every week, every week, you know, um, even if you don't have, let's say your, your podcast is generally maybe an hour long. So one day you might not have that much time. So maybe you only have 10 minutes, but you show up for those 10 minutes, you know, and, but then you show up consistently. And then that's, that's the key to it. You know, when people realize, oh, he's in it for the long run and he's going to be a while around a while. And I know I can depend every Wednesday is I'm on Spotify or I'm on Facebook or I'm on YouTube checking out the deal to hear with E. James podcast, because it's, I know it's going to be there. So that's, that's the main goal, just being consistent and, and putting the work in. Yeah. That is definitely something. Another gem that I hope someone wrote down is definitely being consistent. And it's not, it, it 52 weeks can't be easy. I mean, I know life happens and, you know, things sometimes, you know, come up unexpected and all kinds of things like that where it could be challenging, you know, challenging to, to push through or even, you know, being consistent when even if you don't feel like it, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So with that and having all of those episodes, do you have any favorites? Was there a yes. favorite guest or favorite yeah. episode? So I, I love I love all the episodes and all the guests that have came on. Um, but there are three that uh, stands out the most to me. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the number one would be the episode that I did with my daughter. Um, I was able to have my daughter on as a guest and, you know, we were able to have some conversations. My daughter's 19 now at the time of this recording. And uh, so we were able to have some, some conversations. And even at the end of it, I gave her the opportunity to ask me some questions, you know, and we talked uh, about some different things. We talked about depression uh, in the family and, you know, some other things uh, that came up. So I, I was 
very happy to be able to have her on. And not only for for that episode, but my daughter lives in Texas. And so when I went to go visit her in Texas, I was able to do a podcast as a guest and I took her with me. And so she was able to see even their, you know, that whole process up front. Because the one thing to do a virtual uh, podcast, you know, and you're somewhere, she's somewhere, but we were able to be in the same place and do it, you know, the whole uh, at a podcast studio. You know, so she was able to see that whole thing and it definitely sparked her interest in podcasting. And we even talked to, talked about, you know, doing something together uh, as a daddy daughter uh, podcast. Um, so we, you know, we'll see where that where that goes. But that definitely will be uh, my most significant one. Um, the other two that stands out to me uh, was when I had Josh Ashford uh, on the podcast. So Josh Ashford is the host, one of the hosts of uh, Dad's On Purpose podcast. And it was Josh who, when I met him in person, after we had recorded, uh, we met and, you know, we're sitting down just for, you know, lunch or whatever, have a conversation. It was Josh who said, you should have your own podcast. Mm. And so after I started the podcast, I was able to have him on as a guest. And uh, so kind of returning the favor um, with that. So that's significant to me. And the last one would be uh, a young lady by the name of uh, Yana Her Her. I always pronounce her last, her last name wrong, but her name is Yana. That's her first name. So Yana Yana's was uh, significant to me because even before the podcasting, just being on Instagram and sharing my message, she was the first person to reach out to me and asked to go live to do a live uh, with her, um, as you know, go, going out to the world live with a, with a information. And Yana, our our dynamics is is so different, right? So I'm a man who uh, works with fatherless daughters. She's a woman who was a fatherless daughters who works with fathers uh, as a coach. And so our dynamics is, is definitely different, which is really what made. Uh, our synergy when we came together to be very good. Um, and we did several lives. Um, again, this was before the podcast even was a thought at that time, but we did several lives together. I always liked, you know, linking up and, and sharing that, sharing that space with her. And so to be able to, once I started the podcast, she was actually my very first guest. So she, like I said, she was the first one to ever reach out to me to do a live uh, together on Instagram. And so I definitely wanted to return that favor and have her as my very first guest when I started the podcast. And so those, those three, those three episodes, while all of them are special and definitely dear to me, those three uh, holds a special place for me. That's amazing. That is amazing. And one thing I will say, just from hearing you speak about it, is that like each one of them were ones that challenged you in some way. They either challenged mm -hmm. you or helped you to grow or brought yeah. something new, you know, new development, new something, you know, and so that is amazing. And so that's that, that's what I hear or what I heard uh, from what you just shared. And, you know, each one kind of helped you grow or get to another level. And so that's amazing. So, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and so what do you feel is next for Ernest James? Um, so I, I, I am in the process of, uh, I've already started my company, uh, deal, heal, fulfill.org. Um, and the company is a, is a trifold, right? So it's speaking, uh, it's podcasting, and then it's also, uh, products. Um, currently I have written three eBooks, uh, that I have at eBooks by ejames.com. So those eBooks are available. Um, the podcast, of course, is already up and running. And the next thing that I'm going to, uh, already in the process of, but definitely going to step more out into the public speaking space and being a speaker. And so definitely looking to grow, uh, my company in all three sectors, uh, you know, more. So the podcast definitely growing to, uh, where we start doing in person, uh, interviews, uh, building out an actual podcast studio. Um, that's my vision for the podcast. 
um, my vision for as a speaker to definitely be able to reach and go into the schools and talk to the youth, uh, but also talk to teachers and uh, maybe one day even step into that uh, corporate space to you know speak to some corporations uh, as a speaker. Um, and as far as the products, I have the Deal to Heal Teas already out. Um, I have you know the three eBooks that I already have out, definitely working on my first uh, hardcover book uh, right now. And definitely, I already got some some other eBooks up my sleeve that, that should be coming soon. And so, yeah, so deal, uh, deal, deal, heal, fulfill.org. Um, the, the website should be out soon. And yeah, just pushing that forward on, on all, three, uh, all three fronts. Uh, so that's what's next for me. Okay. Okay. I see. I hear big things, big things coming from Ernest James. And so definitely look out, give them that, uh, that website again to get, pick up one of your eBooks. Uh, the, the website for the eBooks is, uh, eBooks by ejames.com. Very easy to remember because if you know why you're going to it, <laughs> that's why you're going. So if you know you're going to get an eBook is eBooks by ejames dot com uh, right now I have three ebooks that's up uh, which is forgiving me uh, the four steps to self forgiveness um, I have uh, males to men which is sort of a um, male mentoring book for young boys stepping into manhood going into manhood and then I have the core four the core four values that every daughter should receive from her father. So that book is more geared toward the fatherless daughters, uh, fatherless daughter space, uh, which acknowledging the core values that every daughter should get from her father. And that goes, that is good for any woman, not just the, the young fatherless daughter, but also the, the adult fatherless daughter. Because what I found is the core four values that you receive from your father as a woman, you never stop needing it. It just changes where you're getting it from, right? And so those core four values that you're looking to receive from your father, once you get older and you choose a husband, you choose a mate, now you still need those four core values, but now you're looking for it to come from uh, you know, your mate, your husband at that time. And so, yeah, so I, I, those three eBooks are available now at eBooksbyEJames.com. Um, all of this information definitely will be in the <laughs> in the descriptions. Um, so yeah, so that's that's uh that's what's next for me. That's amazing, amazing. Well, kudos to you. You are definitely well on your way and super excited to see what other things come from Mr. Ernest James. And so that's all my questions for today. Um you know, I'm just excited to be here and excited to learn a little bit more about what you're up to with your podcast and all of that. And just for everyone listening, what he just mentioned about his ebooks, like literally each and every single person knows somebody, if not yourself, um, that ha can either A, uh, need to learn a little bit more about forgiveness of self you know, and uh, some steps regarding that to uh, if you know someone who is a fatherless daughter or you are yourself and you may want to just take some time to dive in and learn a little bit more self-reflection um, and, and growth is what you'll get from that. And then uh, the other being, you know, if you have a, a young man in your life um, that, you know, is transitioning into manhood, you know, that is also another, the other great book as well. So, Whatever st stage you're in, you know somebody, you know, get one of those books. Right, right. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, uh, for saying that. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been a great, it's been a great ride. I'm really looking forward to, you know, the things that's that's coming up for uh, for me and the partnerships that um, that's going to come for from it. And even the more, you know, looking forward to re, uh, to connecting with more guests and, and definitely even looking forward to our interview where I have you as a guest and we get to talk about the forgiveness mission and everything that you're up to. So uh, I definitely appreciate you once again for, for being on and even for con conducting this interview. Um, yeah, so thank you once okay. again. No problem, no problem. To my listeners, uh, thank you guys for, for being a part of this journey. 
right? So it's, it's one thing for me to be able to come on this mic and to share my viewpoint and share my, my story and have guests to come on and to share their story also. Um, but we're not just sharing it just to be sharing it, but we're sharing it to pour into you, right? To the listeners so that the listener are getting something from what's being said and what's being shared. And so I thank you guys for not only taking this journey to 52 with me, but to be in a place where you're looking to receive and, you know, trusting us and my guests to, um, you know, have your ear and to, to be able to pour into you. So thank you guys once again for also taking this journey with me. Um, so to everybody, man, thank you guys again for this, this podcast, for these 52 weeks, um, 52 episodes, a year of podcasting, which is a great, which is a great accomplishment. Uh, and I'm very grateful for everybody that's been a part of it. And so, Hey, to those who may be thinking about it, maybe you want to start a podcast. Let me, let me just, uh, should I suggest, uh, I use red circle, um, as a distribution platform and I use StreamYard to record. So this very, uh, nice layout that you see with the pictures and the words and all that, that is StreamYard. And those links will be in the, in the uh, descriptions. And I will also, uh, advise you, advise you to look into David Shans and the social proof podcast. Definitely, um, some great information there, um, and great mentor. So thank you guys once again. And before I forget, I told you guys that I will tell you how you guys could win $100 from the podcast. And that will be by uh, joining our super subscriber contest. So what does that mean? That means you will have to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to our Facebook page, and to our uh, podcast on Spotify. You must subscribe to all three of those. And then after you subscribe, Text the word WIN, W-I-N, 2866-326-0730 to qualify to win $100 uh, in our Super Subscriber Contest. That's how you get in. The contest is ongoing and is random, so I can pick a name at any day, any time, and that'll be our winner. So once you're in, you're always in. So you always, once you qualify to enter, you're always in it and you always have the chance to win. So that's how you can win $100 from the podcast by joining our super subscriber contest. And again, to do that, you must subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and our uh, podcast on Spotify. Then text the word WIN, W-I-N, to the number 866-326-0730 to qualify to win $100 from the podcast. So, uh, Miss Kalita, um, generally, <laughs> this is where I would have my guests uh, leave us uh, with a word of, of wisdom. Um, but since you're not the guest, uh, maybe you could just leave us with a word of encouragement, uh, if you could, and then we'll get up out of here. Well, a word of encouragement, I would say, don't tell yourself no. Allow someone else to. You know, sometimes we will um, say, oh, well, no, they don't want to hear that. Or no, we don't want to ask the question. Sometimes, um, you know, we listen to the chatter in our minds and allow that to stop us in many cases. And my word of wisdom is pass through, keep going. Don't, don't listen to the chatter. Ask the question anyway. Ask the question anyway. You never know what's on the other side. All right, all right. And we can't end to no better than that. Again, to my listeners, thank you guys once again for tuning in to the Deal to Heal with E. James podcast, uh, where our mission is to help you to deal, to heal, and to fulfill, to deal with your problems, to heal from the pain, and to fulfill your purpose. So until next time, we will see you guys next week. Be blessed. Hey, guys, I know you're enjoying the podcast. However, don't forget to join our text line at 866-326-0730. That's 866-326-0730 in order to receive text messages 
with new events and things that is going on and new episodes as they release. All right. See you in a minute. Thanks for listening to the Deal to Heal with E. James podcast. Remember to listen, like, subscribe, and share. This episode has been brought to you by Deal to Heal Teas. Put some inspiration in your situation. Wear an inspirational tea and be inspired all day. Let's go to Deal to Heal Teas.myshopify.com. Remember, our mission is to help you to deal, heal, and fulfill. Deal with your problem. Heal from the pain and fulfill your purpose. Thanks for listening.